Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of determining slope. This is standard A.3A in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 of the 2017 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find the slope of a line, and here's our equation. Now, unfortunately, this is not in the form that's going to help us. So let's identify this form. This is actually, if we look at the three different forms that we are using most often in Algebra 1, this is our standard form. So our standard form looks like this, AX plus BY equals C. And so you notice A and B are coefficients, C is a constant, there's no slope. I at least identified in any of these letters. So just getting this particular form is not going to be that helpful. Whereas if we were to get the slope-intercept form, that would be very helpful. Uh, so that slope-intercept form looks like this. Remember, this is something we've been doing since seventh grade. And that's y equals mx plus b. That's my slope. There's also a third one. It's the point slope. You're rarely going to find something given to you in this form. But it's this, and this is also on your reference materials. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, and that's also the slope. So our slope is represented by m. So we are given an equation here that is in standard form. And what we need to do is we need to change standard form right there into our slope-intercept form. Can't really change it into your point-slope form because we don't have individual x and y uh, components that we could use there. So let's. how do we change this? standard form into slope-intercept form. Well, it's not the hardest in the world. We just need to take a look at our slope-intercept form. What do we notice? Y is by itself. No coefficients, no anything. So we need to solve for Y. And if we can solve for Y, put everything else over on the right side, we'll be good. So let's start by moving this positive 5x. All right. So knowing the uh, laws of operations here, whatever you do on one side of the equation, you need to do on the other side of the equation to keep it balanced. So I've got a 5x minus 5x. It's going to at least take that step out. It's going to leave me with a 12y. This is going to leave me a uh, 24 minus 5x, but I want to put my my x first because that's kind of what happens. So I'm going to end up doing minus 5x plus 24. Okay, so we're we're close. We're close to the to the the slope here, but you notice that I've still got this negative 12, right? It's negative 12 times y. So what can we do? Well, we can divide by negative 12. So negative 12 divided by negative 12, look at that, cancels itself out. Now, in order to keep a balanced equation, we need to divide both sides by negative 12. And then we can actually distribute this out, right? So we can actually distribute out towards this and this separately. So negative 5x over negative 12 plus 24 over negative 12. And then if we wanted to simplify that, if we wanted to get straight into our slope-intercept form, the two negatives are going to cancel out, but 5 twelfths cannot be reduced, so it's just 5 twelfths x. And I got 24 divided by 12 is 2, and it's going to end up being negative. So this is, this equation is this in slope-intercept form, and there's my slope, 5 twelfths j.